So we have three famous historic characters here who are sort of in a midlife crisis in a way. And they've come to a place in their lives where they've lost a little bit of their meaning. Uh, so they start experimenting with this drug. And in the first act, you see each of them experiment for the first time and what goes on. And those are pretty true, true to history. And in the second act, they come together and experience it together and you get to see what this show is all about. We actors, well, now and then, I get confused. It's hard to tell what is real and what's illusion. They pick me up in the morning and drive me to the set. Groom me, wax me, dress me, light me. Every need is met. The, art the article uh, on Cary Grant was in Vanity Fair, so it was, you know, a fairly mainstream article. And um, I think having done LSD in the 60s and the 70s, I was shocked to find out that they did it in the 50s. I mean, James Lapine calls you and says, I have a new musical that I want to develop, and it's in a subject matter that I never would have dreamed up on my own. I was immediately taken with it, and I just thought, if, if James sees a musical here, I want to be a part of that. This is so, this is so singular, and a big reason why I signed on, because I just think there's no source material for this. We're obviously basing it on our, you know, three real characters, real humans who existed. But there's no book, there's no movie. It's just fresh from James's mind and Tom's mind and Michael's mind. done is get the real essence of the characters and what he discovered was that in the 50s they were at this crossroads in their life each of them going through a big change and what LSD does is takes away the ego it, it, it uh, takes the shell off so you're able to reassess what's going on inside more clearly she's a Republican and that she did LSD to try and learn more about herself um, you don't really expect that from a conservative lady. Um, I, but she did so many things. She was a writer, she was an editor, she was a congresswoman, she was an ambassador. And back in that time, I mean, who does that if you're a woman? So she was so inspiring. I didn't realize how many similarities I have to Carrie. He's got a lot to pull from. And so whenever something comes out vocally, it, it comes from the bottom of his soul. I was unaware that he, he was basically, he went blind at about 16. I didn't know he, about his sight troubles. And knowing it now, it makes so much sense because he's all about the visual and light, and he writes about light a lot. It's so exciting because Tom, especially for the first act, as we're getting to know our three leading players, uh, the sounds that he creates for each of them are so different. With Claire, we have more of Tom's, like, surging ballads and really moving lyrical experiences and then with Carrie which we didn't get to see today but it's a total song and dance vaudeville-esque routine with tap and everything. Huxley might hear Italian opera at one point. Um, Carrie Grant hears the movies and Busby Berkeley. Whatever they're seeing and experiencing it is real to them. It was the same thing I would say about Next to Normal. So whatever these characters see when they're in this state they're experiencing them in real time and it's bringing out real emotions and I feel like the songs that we write have to speak to that. We sing only on the drug. But in the 50s it was really underground and people took it with a serious intent. They didn't take it for entertainment purposes. And that's when I knew that there was something really important there about writing about that moment because it's, it's not about the drug, it's what the drug unleashes in these particular people. It's gonna be insane. The lights, 
the projections, the way the set moves. When you're on LSD, things happen. And uh, there's some new technology that's never going to be uh, seen in a Broadway theater before, I think. Um, so to put all that together with singing and tap dancing, um, it's, you know, we're doing things we've never done before.